Yes, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Mad Evo Random Evo, Random Move, Random Type run. Uh, it's been a few days in real life since I've played this, so I just familiarised myself with my Typhons and my moves again. Uh, I actually have no idea. What items, like... I don't even remember if I've spoken to Jasmine, I'm not gonna lie. So apologies if I already have. I'm going back in. I'll be able to tell as soon as I get to like the first trainer do. Uh work on getting Rhyhorn up and now I have the Porygon. That stab 90 power sludge bomb. Whoa. As well, so maybe I'll rotate between it. I'm not too sure though. We've got another 16. I can't remember what it said. Actually, I've been recording other stuff since. Okay, so nice, I've not been in here. Some more trainers, so I'm gonna continue to fight pretty much everyone, man. Get the boys off. Uh, Hypno has really high special attack. As a result, I've kind of gotten a lot of Pokemon the Titans as well. Uh, like, that I've come up against. Uh, the stab flying. Oh god, super fun. We'll always do half damage. Doesn't matter what type it is. Nice. Hypno's weak to flying. Damn, man. It's me for special, a super effective cross shot. Should I speed it with Raticate? Speak to fire there, it's probably Bogo Grass, Hypno. That's so annoying now, I have to go back. I need the right horn up for it. It will be important, it's, it's weak to water, ice, it's quad weak to ice and fire, so it's probably ice, cross shop. No, cross shop is water, I know that. I have cross shop on me, I'm frost. Yeah, that's, that's frustrating, man. I get to shuckle uh, this episode, guys. Pretty hyped about. If I got head straight there, then I might take on all the water trainers in the, the water route. I can't even remember. Like I said, it's been a few days since playing it, and I've been playing a number of the saves since. I don't remember whether it fought everyone by this point. So just kind of get to the point where it's, I'm at a standstill and then I'll probably go and fight trainers I guess. Just for the grind. Look, this guy's optional, I could fight him on the way back if I struggle into Chuck or something. God, I really will. Struggle into Chuck. Maybe get through by the sheer amount of mons I've got, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm going to fight this guy, he has five Pokemon. I think. Yeah, Raichu. It's a good Pokemon, man. I'll try me flying. Nice, crit it. Good shit. Good XP is off. Omanite is... I don't know. Nice burn. I halved its attack. It was important as well, I would have died as a jump kick. Super effective jump kick. That was lucky, man. I was really lucky. Ooh, ancient powers, ice. Yeah, I'm quite weak to ice. That was never gonna go well. Uh, it's an Ampros out. What's Ampros' type again? I don't remember. Maybe it's. Who's a fighting psychic? Nah, that's me, right, okay. I got pure fire. Uh, cross shop it. Nice. Nice. Monley's weak to dark. Uh, psychic or ghost. Uh, screw reviving the fucking ride on then. The right horn. Uh, let's just level the others up and now. It's a shame, man, he is falling behind. I could always put an XP share on it. It doesn't matter when it's dead, though. But it is immune to electric and ground, so it is useful to have. It's just them fucking ice moves on. Every cunt always has an ice move or a water move. 
Yeah. Who needs shots of grass? Let's on 1 HP. Come on, bro. Resist fire. I think that's vanilla fire. Bro, it hits a thunderbolt. I'm on the ground. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck was that? It's just like, it's two in a row. Oh, dig star. Yeah, that's my ground move. Paint and tough. Nice, yeah. I got away with that one, like. Every train is an ordeal in this run though, guys. It really is, like... Every train, it could be me last. Uh, I'll have to be mid around. It's kinda weak as well. If it's a super active move, it's dead. And we do, nice! It's weak to fire. Oh, Ghastly? I had a Ghastly! I don't remember its type. It's been a few days, man. Apologies. It's whatever type my Ampros is. I can't check now, though. What was it? Oh. Was it full grub? Oh. No, it's... It might have been rock fire. Ampros should outspeed it. I like it with a cross shot. What if I didn't fucking miss, man? Come on. Crits double edge as well. Oh, and again, cross shot so trash. No, it's neutral to me, so I'll be neutral to that. How did I super effective it? Was it me Ampros? Me Ampros was a gas, isn't it? Not. Oh, me type changes, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm pure electric now. Yeah, the ghastly was fire rock, I think. What's that one else? Baltop's bug rock. Psychic poison. Was me right? Okay, it wasn't psychic fighting. Flying ground. I remember that one. Dodo is pure fire. And pure electric. Yeah, me Ampros only has one weakness then, it's ground. Uh, bug fire for the Porygon. So I'm quad weak to rock. Uh, Voltorb's moves were pretty trash, I think. We'll go with Dodio. Dodio's been the MVP of this run so far, by far. In fact, do I not have any more fights unless this guy spots me? No, oh, he does, motherfucker. I should've just gone in the stairs. Then when I come out the stairs, he can't spot me, but... Oh well, I should be able to get through it. We've got Pokemon I've left up. Mistrevious, I wonder what you are. Take you up for flying attack? Nice. So only six more levels. Ooh, it's trying to land Blizzard. What type is Blizzard? I'm gonna save state it. Get rid of strong grip, which is grass. Blizzard's inaccurate, but man is it a powerful move. It's, oh it's normal, yeah, I did have Blizzard on something else. I'll use it. Coffin's not ghost then. Still don't kill it, really. I mean, it'll never super effective anything, it's only an issue. With a strong grip wood. But I mean. It is more powerful at the end of the day. Fucking miss. There we go. Was strong grip my only powerful water move? I wonder. So like a water ground type will be a fucking issue if I got rid of it. You can't on electrocute it. I don't know, man. I got the upgrade, I can't remember what this does. Obviously, it did. When holding it, I think a Porygon trade. Yeah, it's, it's only use. You trade a Porygon, and it becomes Porygon too.
Oh, actually. Did I go in the... Mars? Look at it. There, there's a on somewhere here. Oh, never mind. It just, just digs me out of here anyway. Yeah, also, I've been playing through a um, monotype on uh, a few races against Mike, so I played a few other saves and just, like, forgot half of this shit. Um, so I think I'll just purely finish this. I'm gonna set up to do it to champion. I'll finish this first, and uh, like, just play this exclusively. That's all it was. Because it's better to keep stuff in mind. I can remember, for instance, the Hypno's Grasp or Bug. Uh, I think I got strength. Sort it to the Porygon, yeah, it was Demi strength or some shit. How many repels do I have? Not much repel there. Uh... Yeah, I'll do. Still waiting on a good attack and uh, fighting move on. To give something a black belt. So I'll just continue to avoid the trainers for now. Could be fail. Uh, I'll go and train them on them if I need. If Chuck's just a complete war. I'll get through Chuck through this episode, then to be honest, I'm probably gonna have to face them anyway. It's just for the grind. Hypno, <laughs> speak of the devil. Is weak to flying. But his cross drop destroys me. Oh my god, I'm on 1 HP, I need to one shot this. Nice, got crit. Of course it outspeeds me, don't know why it thought it wouldn't. Be another one, I probably can't even outrun it then. Oh, hold on. No, if you're in Ekans, I'd catch you. Can't escape, fuck off, can't escape man, I hate that feature of this game. In all Pokemon games, you should always be able to escape from them. Unless they use a mean lock or something, do you know what I mean? That is a move that they've used at least. I'm just this cheap. Oh, it's faster, you can't run from it. Uh, let's save and fight you seen. You don't have to actually do that, I've discovered. Playing the monotype things, you can just run into the Suicune by just eventually going there, but at the end of the day, this is a battle that will get me XP. Said, the initial plan was go straight to Chuck, but I will take this fight. So, if we ride on lives, man, just keep getting hit by water and ice moves, it's unfortunate. Like, I don't think my immunity is actually come to play once with Raihorn. Which, considering I'm immune to almost an eighth of the types in this game, is unfortunate. Ice Beam's dark. It demolishes me, just because Electrode's a really good attack, but nice, say it's with a super effective. So Electrode's weak to flying then. I'm probably going to die against the Dojo, I'll try anyway. In fact, maybe we should switch out the XP. Nah, screw it. I have an XP share, like I said, if I really need to. Maybe it'll have to feed me. But I can get a drop on it with something else now. Nice, I resist Mega Kick. Oh, my Psychic Poison. That was probably a fighting move. Super effective fire. Still doesn't do a lot. Uh, well, so I have that as a fire move. It could be bug, grass, ice, steel. Me flying and ground are likely to hit three of the four there then. Okay, let's see. I resist flying. It's probably steel. It just fucking one shots me with body slam, god damn it. I need to sort of ground move. Or fighting. Double edge. Nice, there we go. That's unlucky man, like 
A super effective fire, it's either pork, grass, ice, or steel. So I had a 50% chance of me flying moving super effective, and it was the one type out of four that it resists flying. Did I make. Uh, I don't think ice does resist it. I'll teach it water cannon again, same crap though. I will, um, I think water cannon was steel. I'm sure I've already seen that on a mod. I'll reload. I'll just double check. And try and work out whether it's better. I mean, gra ground seems to fare really well in this. Ninety-five accurate steel, super effective against rock, ice, and um, that's it. I think I've got my ground move for the ice. Ice doesn't scare me anyway. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna keep double edge. It's more powerful anyway. Recall damage, of course, but it doesn't always matter. Oh, the hype though, guys. The hype. I should have done this first. Let's get the shuckle. So it is. I need to deposit something. Uh, heal up the right hand as well, while I'm at it. So, it could be a fully evolved beast at level 15, which we stick with. So far, the gift Pokemon haven't really been that good. The Vault Orb is clutching the rival fight in uh, Ben's house and failed. The positive Paragon is a high trend bitch, though, so. Um, I might get it back in. I, I don't know. I guess I can teach HM to the shuffle. But if it's that good, I won't need to. Please be good. Looks like it's an oddish. It's a fuck. Sunken's the worst Pokemon in the game, statistically. It's pure water. Which isn't too bad. I'm only weak to electric and grass. But Jesus, man. Even with a sunstone, I could go and get a sunstone and evolve it to some. Uh, some flora, but. I think some flora is still pretty shit. Does it at least have a stab water move? Fire punch is flying, strong grip's grass, you know. Egg bomb's poison. Swift's bug. Yeah, that's decent coverage, actually. But look how shit its stats are. At level 15, it gains like. What the fuck? That's even worse than I thought it would be. Like, it's even worse than a newt would be, I should say. Do you know what I mean? It gains like. One on each of them per level. I mean, let's evolve it. I need to get fly first. I had an item on at least, I had a berry. Let's take that off it. But holy. God, that's bad. Maybe some floor. I mean, some floor will at least be fully evolved, whereas a lot of my team still isn't fully evolved, of course, because I just haven't evolved them yet. It might be useful to have for a while, but I don't think I'm ever going to go away and like grind up, getting it up to scratch. It's so annoying, I literally haven't upgraded with Polygon. I mean, I wonder if it works. Uh, I'll have to trade it, and you can't trade an emulator, of course. Uh, I don't remember whether it did change your possible Evos for this one. This save. Like I said, I'm playing so many different saves at the moment, it's hard to keep track. Come on then, Ryan. You got this, brother. Back to back fights without being able to uh, heal now. Between. Could be a bit heavy. These guys have one Pokemon each, they're both level 27, I think. For Fable. Very unlikely to kill us from your eye horn. Ice Beam is dark and it freezes me. Fucking just my luck, man. Shit, Ice Beam's dark. Why am I sending me Psychic type armor? Fucking idiot. I'm pretty sure Ice Beam's dark. Nice, it's weak to fire. Ah, oh, I've got this shit. Good shit. Oh, then we're out okay. I kept meaning to drop her after cave throughout this, but then I realised, um, hold on, it's one of the few fully evolved Pokemon, I'll keep it, and it's, it's, it does bits, man. It was a good shout for keeping it in. Tentacruel's a scary Pokemon, so I have really good start. Neutral fire. Uh, let's try Dark. Neutral Dark. Try ground then. Nice, no, tweak to ground. Oh no, no. 
Oh, can you make it? Right, okay, shake this off. Oh, you fucking beast. You don't give a shit, lock it. Shrugged off two confusions, then. What a, oh, what a legend. That was a point waste of my heals. I'll go back. I'm probably gonna have to heal after the next two train as well. Like, if I can get through two trainers, then heal. I've got other mons there, but I do wanna try and, if possible, get a bit of XP on the right horn. If it goes down to this first guy, I'll go and heal, and I'll just put the XP share on it again, man. It does have a really good attack, Raihorn. It'll be good to have in. Like, keeping him at the same level as some more. Oh, God. Snorlax is terrifying. Nice. Weak to the fire then. As long as I don't flinch or I crit me, fuck off. Did I save state then? Time is 12.23. The save state was 12.21. Uh, probably save state before the old other train is. So it was week to flying. Don't do as flying as well. Ooh. Super effective on it, low to speed. And it hits me for super effective fire blast. Fuck you, bro. I'm pure fire. I don't have too many weaknesses. Don't you look free? Uh, that's just unlucky. Voltorb will have to speed it. What's we Voltorb soon to go, man? I'm looking away. Well, not bad, you know. You're a ghost takedown. Super effective. Okay, this thing's ghost or psychic, then. Yeah, I love Ghost as a type, but it's pretty trash offensively. It's only good against two types. Mind you, it's only weak against two as well. Dark in itself. Yeah, but it's kind of challenging, so it's not ideal. Did they even get the secret place in there? It did. It's off to the sky, just so I don't forget. I've done that before, I've gone back to fucking Jasmine and like not even got the secret potion. But as you came here. For that sole reason. Yeah, fuck the right horn man. I I'll leave it for every time and always dies. So I'll give it the XP share. And I'll leave it for something else. The vault orbs lagging behind the others a bit. We were four. It will evolve at level 30 as well, the vault orbs get closer. I don't want it to evolve though, man. So no spore, and it's so fast. Yeah, I'm just gonna abuse spore, actually. It always works. Unless the, it hits a steel type, because it's part poison. It's bad being part poison, like. Charge the sky attack. Nice. Oh, really? Wow. Blizzard's best. Uh, I've realised, like, even though it's normal type, it'll hit for normal type effectiveness. It still counts as a special move. Oh, God, it's Ghost. Yeah, so, take down and sky attack are both physical, and Voltorb's physical is really bad. I'm better just switching in. Uh, so, uh, what was it? It was Ghost. Raticate has Dark type move. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, dig. And it misses a rollout as well. Oh, resets. It's nice. Damn, man. Physical attack is that low. Serious. He went from first to third Pokemon while well, I had me Tell. So the Weedle's obviously weak to one of my Titans, which was Psychic Poison. 
So, it might be weak to dark if it's a ghost. No. Alright, I'll kill it next one anyway. Yeah, you can kind of use that to try and wake up as well. So, I'll lead with the Voltor, we'll just put the shit to sleep. It's a cheap method, man, but it's safe. I should do it a lot more, like I said, it just, it just takes a bit more time. I just generally prefer trying to tank through, not abusing support. But for now, anyway, like I said, yeah, we're gonna have to evolve Vault Orb in six level time. It might turn into something really slow. Uh, I'll try and kill Marie with the Vault Orb, but with a normal Blizzard. It's neutral enough. Alright, let's try takedown. Oh, I could have hit that ghost with takedown. I'm a dumbass. The gravelet. That would have been super effective. I guess a lot of, a lot of HP, but yeah, I could have done that. Hopefully Air Sering is not steel. Nice. Yeah, still, not failed. It's four. I did see something steel. Uh well, in this episode, I forgot what it was. Oh, he fucking full heals. Twat. Oh god damn it. Alright, I'm not putting this to sleep. Shit. Alright, this could be hard now. Go for Dodo next. What did it hit with? Ground was neutral. I'm trying to fly. Oh my god. Yeah, Hyper Beam's water, I think. I'm pure fire. Rhyhorn's ground flying, that can't tank that. Rackate, should. So I've hit it with flying and ground, then it was neutral. I'll try Aeroblast Fire. Resists. Probably water type. No, oh my god, what is this thing? Is it rock? I think it's rock. No, because the ground would have been super effective. Maybe it's flying ghost, I don't know. Shit. Go Porygon! No, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Arm Frost. Might have to be this. Uh, cross Shot. It resists water. What the fuck is this thing? Is it steel? No, uh, it let me poison it, didn't it? I have no idea. I think it was rock something. Maybe just pure rock. Well, no, because I used a water move on it. Is it ice? Maybe it's an ice. Uh, what was the TM? Let's have a look. Where's when rocks on the TM? I don't even remember the TM, dad man. Oh, he gives you TM one. It's Razor Wind. Uh, I'll say so it's a charge attack again. I'll teach you to the Porygon and. Reload the save stage. Just work out what type it is. Smoke speed would have been useful if Porygon was a bit faster, but I don't think it'll ever have to speed anything. And it's unlikely to take a hit to utilize the smoke screen. Razor Wind's Rock. Only 80 power? I thought it was more actually, and it's only 75% accurate at charge move. Fuck that, that is trash. I'm selling that, I don't even care if I end up with a rock Pokemon. In fact, I do have a rock Pokemon. I have two rock Pokemon. Porygon was rock, in fact. No, it's bug fire. The movie Voltorb's bug rock. Has it got any moves I could maybe forget? Uh, not really. I mean, I could put shit to sleep. And then charge it up. Over sky attack. Which basically is the same crap. Yeah, to be fair, I might teach it. Sky attacks ground. It's really powerful though, but. Blizzard actually hits through my good special stuff, even though it's normal. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Sky attacks not got a great deal of PP as well. The HM powers. Actually, both. I'm keeping hold of a lot of TMs, I remember, because I don't know what stuff's gonna evolve into and where we're gonna keep them. 
but Razor Wind, while it is beneficial to teach it, I'm not that bothered if I end up losing the Vault Orb and Razor Wind just been wasted, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to have to do the same again with Fly, guys. Teach Fly to something to work out what type it is. I'll give it some head jump, bitch. It looks like Fly didn't get nerfed in terms of power at least. Because Fly, like, hurt, you need to get round obstacles. Uh, there's a lot. It's not a file, really, to dip into another save. In and out, because I do. There's a lot to remember, I guess. I probably have seen Fly on something. Fly's fighting. Not bad. There'll be a lot of things that are normal fight. But I can't hit Ghost. I don't have a uh, fighting type at the moment. Yeah, I'll keep it on Porygon for now. Can't remember what I got rid of. Smoke screen. Uh, so, back to all of I'm go. I did say I was going to consider fighting trainers. Jasmine's going to have a level 35, man. Yeah, I'll just keep going until I run into a wall of a fight. In fact, no. Right, I'm going to heal. Uh, it's half an hour in now, anyway, so I'm going to call it for an episode. Then off calm, I think I'll just grind it. Alright, never mind. We're going to fight this guy, I promise. Uh, I'll just grind on a lot of trainers, man. Off calm. Gengar all. Right home, let's try this. Oh nice. It's way too flying. No shit, that was lucky. <laughs> Both of them weak to flying, good shit. Flying is a good type, but I've seen a lot of stuff weak to flying in this run as well. Yeah, how close are we to evolving? Hmm. So that's the only problem with it. If I find something later on that's really good, but low level, I miss out on so much XP if I'm taking on all these guys. I feel like Jasmine's gonna be really tough. In fact, yeah, screw it. I will take on Jasmine this episode if I get beat, even once. And I feel like, oh, I might be able to beat it with certain RNG or certain strats. And screw it. I'll, uh, I'll just take her on once and I will go and train. My whole team is under level at the moment, let's face it. I'd say Ampros. 27. It's probably the only one of Bolt right. If they're all 27, so right okay, and Dodo aren't far off. The right horn and Bolt over a bit low. Which is me digger, right okay. I mean, you can kind of trial and error it a lot with RNG. Uh, loading, say, states and stuff. But. It's a really good Pokemon, man. With a really bullshit type and where it's not weak to anything, then it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a fucking task. I'll lead with the Voltorb and try and spore it. To be fair, I might get through with that. I often forget this combo, man. But 24, two level 30s and level 35. They might outspeed me. I don't think this Charmy will outspeed me. Nice, it's not poison, it's not seal either. Let's try then, I'll charge me Razor Wind. Ah, uh, wait up straight away man, come on. Yeah, I'm reloading that. Shit. Alright, nice. I was worried this was the first time I was in here. But no, they have the medicine. I should have saved state before that, it's my bad. The Ampy heals you actually. Alright, oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, we'll go heal again. Yeah, I'll save tip 4. Uh, it's just unlucky. 
the fucking Charmeleon wakes up that quick, but I do know it one shots me. Uh, I am Bug Rock. Body Slam was water. So it hurt me, Dodo. I'm me right home. I'm Frost should be okay, but. See, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'll just carry on for now until I get to a fight that walls me. Then I'll go and train, but I have a lot of trainers and now I can fight to catch up on. And when I'm in the grinding phase, I still feel I'm not ready. I will show you the video of them evolving at least. Or just like stop them at the level where they're about to roll. You know, like, I'll get the vault up to level 29, I get the dodo to level 30. And they evolve the next level. Right under the vault to level 42, so I could tank that up. I still had a problem with fucking two stage attack though, I would have got an attack off on it. And I'm still one in four to miss. Raise wins bullshit. Oh my god, it did nothing. It's neutral to rock. Let's try ghost. Oh, tweak to ghost. Yeah, that'll kill me. Right, I'll just put it to sleep with the vault orb, then switch. It's either ghost or psychic, so um. I think it was in the Ampharos had Ice Beam. That was Star, I'm pretty sure. And Ampharos will have really good special as well, so I'll probably one shot it. Dark's gonna super effective it regardless of what type it is Psychic or Ghost. Yeah, nice. Oh, it does wake up though, and it's more of a super effective thing that's up. It lives! Fuck off, man. I guess it is level 30. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Even with, like, working out. I mean, I'm through the first one. The more hits I get on this Diglett, the better. Diglett will outspeed me. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> try anyway, but Diglett's very fast, man. I know Voltorb's fast, but Diglett is one of the very few things that... No, nice, I'll speed it. I'm actually surprised at that. I know Digger is very fast, at least in Gen 1. Doug Trio probably would have to beat me, and Electro, for obvious reason. But nice. Uh, let's just be safe. Let's hit Blizzard. Easy said and done, apparently. Nice. Not very effective. Okay, it's Rock or Steel. It can only be Rock or Steel. So, none of these will do much. Take down will do the most. Nice man, for it. Important to get the XP with the Vault Orb. More often than not, because I'm just sporing and switching out. It's not getting a lot of XP. I don't remember what the game was. I think it's weak to flying. Uh, let's be safe on it. It does fuck all, man. Vault Orb's so weak. I'll just send me Dodo out. Dodo's a been like a beast so far in this run. No, Sparks Water! All ground, have a way, fuck me over. I can always put it to sleep though. I've been unlucky with them wake it up. They, it was asleep two turns then. No, and G's not really been on my side. Um, what else knows flying? Right on knows stop flying. I think I recall this being weak to fly. Oh, God, bro! Fuck off RNG man! This is bollocks! First turn, wake up! Jet sound! Both of them are weak to spark as well. Holy shit. Oh, alright then I'm for us. If it wakes up again, I'm gonna see me ass one. Nice. I'll probably outspeed this. I'm not entirely sure though. No, it outspeeds me. I'll hit it with an ice beam. Oh, it's weak to dark. Okay. Rackate has a dark move. You can put it to sleep. I mean, even then, if it comes to sleep three times, you can be up to sleep, uh, asleep for up to six times in Gen 2. Six turns, I should say. 
Kind of unlucky, this. Uh, this is outrageous. Every time it's hit me with a fucking super effective move, it probably outspeeds me. Fuck off, man. I've never been so unlucky in this run. I'm gonna have to reload. This fight's well doable, we've seen. Crock of shit. I mean, it's weak to dog. It might be weak to ghost. Yeah, just Voltorb so shit anyway, it doesn't really matter. You have to go for it. If it's psychic, it's weak to Par Porygon's. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna keep spamming Spore. Can't afford to lose damage. This is the turn it's asleep for fucking ever then. Crock of shit, man. Fuck this, I'm reloading. Uh, Porygon might be worth using against it then. It has Stab, Sludge Bomb, which is 90 power buff. Um, against that. Psychic. I'm pretty sure it is. Psychic or Ghost, um, thing. Meganium. But man, like, stop woke up so quick then. It was a crock of shit. I can't even remember what the charm is. Lumen's weak 2 now. It was dark, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, again, man. Again with the wake up. The early wake up. It's asleep for two turns. Come on, two is the minimum. Well, one is obviously, but uh, six is the max. So basically, you're looking at three or four on average. But if you combine it by the fact that they're waking up again and again, second and first and second turn. It's so unlucky. It's and so unlikely. I can't even remember what the dig up was week two now then. Uh. I'll just send off Dodo, because it's going to get one shot by the Meganium. So I might as well use it now. You can't write this RNG, man. This is my RNG. This is how it always goes. It's bullshit. It's fucking ludicrous, man. <sighs> I need the rat, okay, actually, I probably shouldn't have sent that up. Resists flying. Is it weak to ground, this thing? Let's try it. Yeah, okay, it's easy to remember. Just remember it's vanilla type. That's what it's weak to. Surely now we're gonna fucking beat this. Isn't even a bad fight, man. Because I can't put them all to sleep. And I know what they're all weak to now. The Hyper Potion can be scary with the Meganium. I'm gonna try. Well, Raticate's the first part of four. Or Ampharos, I guess. Over with the most power through Dark. This thing does help to beat me, though. The only problem. Nice. Three turns of sleep now. I mean, that's like average though, like I said. There we go, four turns. This is better luck. Choose use a high potion and wait to turn. It'll wake up on me certainly next time, but I got a bit of damage on it then. Nice! Come on. This is more like it, but. Now it wakes up. And we live that, and we're through. Nice, GG. Fucking god though, man. That first turn. The rate of sleep. Fucking, they're all fucking insomniacs, man. I'm not having it. TM23 is the TM. Outrage. Outrage is a good damage dealing move in terms of power. With 90 power, I think. But you get locked into it and you get confused afterwards. So I'll teach you again. The Porygon is our little test tube, baby, right now. Uh, they're all TMs. I'm not never gonna go rid of sludge bombs. Stab bug. Uh, but we'll just test it on the Porygon. Our age is uh, vanilla dragon. Okay. I don't have a dragon type Pokemon though. 
Well, that's it for the episode, guys. I'll go heal. Um, next port of call is now. All oh, right, we can go do Lake of Rage and then go and get the level 40 and the level 60 before next gym. So, oh, the run speeds up now. It was, it was best for me to just plow through. Actually, that was a good shot. So we'll do that next episode, guys. Until then, I'll see you very soon.